Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a relative frequency histogram in Excel when you start with categories or classes of data. So looking at this data, I have the class intervals already given to me, and I have the frequency, the number of people in this case who received these numbers of texts in a day. I want to break it into the lower and the upper ranges so that I can use Excel to calculate my exact midpoints. So I'm just going to type in 50 for the first one, 55 for the upper, uh, 55, 60, and then I don't need to type in the whole set because I can just drag it and Excel is going to fill in for me. To calculate the midpoint, remember that's the average of the two points, so I'm going to put equals to tell Excel that I want to calculate something, and then I'm going to click on the, the lower bound. I want to add it to the upper bound, so I'll click on the upper bound, and then I'm going to come up here and put in parentheses because I want to make sure I add first and then divide by two, so now at this point I'll divide by two and that gives me 52.5 and I can sit on 52.5 go to the bottom right corner see how it turns to a little black plus and then drag that down and that'll give me the exact middle of each of those intervals now I need a total um, mostly over here so to do the total number of people that we're talking about I'll just come to this auto sum, see it there? I just click on that and it'll put a sum right at the bottom of the range I selected. And then I need one more thing and that's a relative frequency. So to get that I'm going to say equals again. I want to know 14 out of this 110, my total for the number of people, and that's going to give me a frequency. A probability. Then I can drag that down. Something it didn't like. E3. Oh, I see what it did. Okay. Well, this is a good experiment for us. So it's saying divide by zero because it's trying to divide, as you can see by this green box, by the number after my sum. So I need to go back to the original one that I had. It was working fine. But what I'm missing here is a static reference, so I can click my F4 button and that'll put some dollar signs on that reference, which means that even when I drag down my list, it's going to stay in that same position where my total is. So I'll push enter and then we'll try that one more time. Go to the bottom right, drag it down, and voila, it took care of my problem. If I click on one of these just to make sure, it says still looking at E12 for the total, but I've dropped down and now I'm looking at E6. If I click here, the one just to the left of the box I'm on and that same total there at the bottom. So that one's working out now. One more thing I want to do, I want to select this column and I'm right clicking on the top and say format cells. There's another button I'm looking at. Yeah, so I'll just say format cells. This is one way to do it. And I can say it's a number and I want two decimal places. I could increase or decrease that, but I really just want two. So I'll say OK. And now it gives me something I'm more used to seeing. I'd like to see the total of this. So I'm going to sum that and it says it is coming out to 1.0. It's using all of those decimal places to the right that it's not showing when it calculates that total, not the rounded values that it's showing you on the screen. Now I want to use um, these probabilities. So I'll select them and then I'm going to go to insert a column chart, the first one, and click somewhere on the chart and then I'm going to the layouts. There's a variety of layouts I could pick for this one. I'm going to come to this like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the eighth one. Click on that. It kind of looks like a histogram, doesn't it? 
So we'll come to the chart title. I can fix that up and call it received daily. And my x-axis is going to be the number of texts received per day. And I'll click here on the vertical axis and that is the number or actually I'm going I used my frequency so that's going to be percent. Okay, some other things I need to do is click on the chart and you can see it's showing nice lines there and I want to use them. So I'm going to say format data series, border color, put a solid line and a black color and then I'll say close. Now when I click somewhere else it's got nice dividing lines. One more thing I need to fix is the numbers at the bottom. So I'm going to click somewhere on the chart, right click select data and here where it says horizontal axis labels I'll click edit then I click this box so that I can select something over on my my spreadsheet I'm going to pick my midpoints so I want to show those and then I click OK I'm finished and there now it's showing my midpoints for each of my blocks of data so I can see that 97.5 was the midpoint for this last block of data. And last thing I can do is select my chart, control C to copy, come in here to Word, and then push control V to paste. And now I can insert my chart into a file, a Word file if I'm doing a report or whatever I want.